Hello, I am Jennifer Hayden with the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. And I am here today to give you a little bit of an update of where we are at our museum. So we are currently still closed to the public until further notice, but our staff and team here at the museum, we're still here working to clean, disinfect, um, and prepare fully for when we can open again and welcome everyone back through our doors. I had requested that we do this very quick video in front of my favorite exhibition. So this one is our critical assembly. This is an artist's tableau of what he believes the laboratories look like at the Manhattan Project um, in Los Alamos during World War II. So this behind me, there are blinking lights. I don't know if you can hear the Geiger counter going off behind me, detecting radiation, um, but there are all kinds of things really that go on at the museum, but this is definitely one of my favorites. The artist who created this exhibition was the same artist, Jim Sanborn, who made cryptos found at CIA headquarters in Langley. So very cool things at the museum. In addition to that, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about some of our silent auction items that are still up for bid um, until Saturday, March 21st at 8, 10 p.m. So what we have, we have a little goodie basket from Ford with all kinds of things, including a baseball cap. We have a very beautiful picture or a photo taken that is the storm on the Santa Fe Trail. This one's probably one of my favorites. We have a little goodie bag from Sweat Yoga Studio with some admissions in. And then we have a very pretty clutch, a purple clutch with some beads on it. This one I'm very excited about. I'm gonna pick it up because I would just wanna play with it. This one is a dinner triangle, like a little bell. This is so much fun. <laughs> but just some more of the items that we still have on um, up for sale on our silent auction. So this silent auction is taking place online because our gala unfortunately was canceled for this Saturday, March 21st. So instead of that, we're doing our online auction completely available to everybody. It's available now at nuclearmuseum.org all the way until Saturday, March 21st at 8, 10 p.m. So visit nuclearmuseum.org and learn a little bit more about what's going on at our museum. Thank you.